Hi children, good morning. So we are seeing our third prose, Empowered Women Navigating the World. Right, so what we have seen in the last class, we are seeing about uh, circumnavigation. Okay, so undertaken by women. Okay, a crew of six members in a sailboat called INSV Tarani. So this sailboat was made in India that is in Goa by Aquarius Shipyard Private Limited. Right. So this uh, trial boat, sailboat was commissioned to Indian Navy on 18 February 2017. So what is Tara Tarani? So Tara, Tara is the name of the God. The Tara means Tarani means boat. Tara Tarani is the name of the temple which is at Ganjam district in Orissa. Okay. And uh, it has advanced technologies like ray marine navigation suit and uh, many satellite, satellite communication facilities for uh, proper navigation. And um, they, a project called Navika Sagar Parikrama was undertaken to show the empowerment of women. Okay. And uh, what else we have seen? So this sailboat INSV. Uh, runs by non-conventional renewable energy that is it runs by wind and also it collects and updates all the meteor meteorological data for the weather forecast that is for the weather department. So this is what we have seen in the last class. Now let us continue. See you can see in this picture. This is the sailboat INSV Tarani uh, which is uh, made in India that is it Goa by Aquarius Shipyard Limited right so this is INSV Tarni you can see here see it is written Tarni so this is the sailboat that we are seeing in this lesson right see the image is given in your book also so this is the sailboat INSV Tarni what we are seeing right so India, Indian Navy's six women crew. So what does mean by crew is it is a group of people uh, who works and operates in a ship. Okay, crew members means the group of people. Okay, the team members who works and operate in a ship is called as crew members. Okay, so Indian Navy's six women crew. So, in this paragraph, we are going to see who are those empowered, challenging women in the Indian Navy. Okay. So, Indian Navy's all-women crew was the first ever to circumnavigate the globe, skippered by Lieutenant Commander Vartika Joshi. The all-women team has also Lieutenant Carter Pradeep Jamwal, Lieutenant Carter Swati Patrapali, Lieutenant Aishwaya Bodapati, Lieutenant Vijaya Devi and Lieutenant Payal Gupta as its crew members. So these are the six women crew members. So who is the commander is? Uh, uh, Vartika Joshi is the commander and the team has uh, Pratip Jambol, Swati Patrapali, Aishwaya Bodapati, Vijaya Devi and Payal Gupta. So these are the six women crew members uh, who are uh, circumnavigate the world in the sailboat called INSV Tharni. Right. Now, let us see about this six women crew members. So now let us see about the commander Vartika Joshi. So she is Vartika Joshi. Joshi hails from Pari Garwal districts, Sialakate village in Uttargan. So she, is, she, uh, she comes from Uttargan. Father P.K. Joshi. So her father name is P.K. Joshi. Is professor in Garwal University. So her, her father is a professor. And also her mother is professor in uh, Rishikes University. Her mother, father is also a professor and her mother is also a professor in Rishikesh University 
Vartika joined Indian Navy in the year 2010. So she joined the Indian Navy in the year 2010. She com completed a campaign in INSV Mahade. Okay, so already I told you what is INSV Mahade, right? Okay. So she is Lieutenant P. Swati Patrapali. She hails from, that is she comes from Vishagapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. Fascinated by Navy March Past since childhood. Fascinated means she was attracted by the Navy March Past. So you can see in the TV also. Okay, the Navy members wearing white color dress and they will be doing March Past. Okay, so she was attracted by the Navy March Past since from her childhood. That is from her childhood. Wanted to be a doctor. But at her father's behest joined the Navy. So on, she wants, actually she wants to become a doctor. But because of her father's interest she joined the Navy. Was also member of NCC's Navy Cops at school. Okay. So you know what is NCC right. So she was a member of NCC's Navy Cops at her school. Next, uh, she is Lieutenant Aishwarya Bodapati. She belongs to Hyderabad. So, she comes from Hyderabad. Accumulated uh, studies from Hyderabad's Air Force Station. Okay. So, she studied in Air Force Station at Hyderabad. Father's work, father works with the CASF. Uh, studied Metallurgical Engineering. So, Aishwarya Bodapati, she studied. Uh, she had completed her engineering in metallurgy and also she worked with the drdo so drdo means defense defense research and development organization okay so she worked in drdo aishwarya working with navy's technical wing and also she worked with the navy's uh, technical wing that is in the technical side so this is about aishwarya bodapati and she is Lieutenant Commander Pratipa Jamwal. Uh, she hails from, that is she comes from Kulu in Himachal Pradesh. She, uh, you might have heard Kulu Manali, right? So she comes from Kulu in Himachal Pradesh. Pratipa studied engineering. So she also had completed her engineering. Uh, she started sailing in 2012. Okay. And, uh, and she is... Payal Gupta. Okay, Lieutenant. Payal Gupta. She belongs to Dehradun in Uttarakhand. Father, Vinod Gupta is a businessman. Mother, Neelam, homemaker. So, Neelam is the name of her mother. She is a homemaker. Her father is a businessman. She completed studies from Carmen School. Okay, so she completed her school studies at Carmen School. Pursued B.Tech from Dehradun. So, she had, after completing her schools, she had continued studying B.Tech from Dehradun. And she wanted to join army, but she could not make through the SSS, SSB five times. Right. So, she wants to army. So, she wants to join the army, but she could not uh, complete her... <coughs> But she could not complete her SSB. So, SSB means Service Selection Board. Okay, Services Selection Board. It means uh, it is an organization that will uh, assess the candidates for uh, who wants to become officers in the army. That is in the Indian Armed Forces. Okay, so SSB is Services Selection Board. They will assess the candidates who wants to become officers in the military. That is in the Indian Army. So, she could not complete that. That's why she could not join the Army. After that, she worked with a company in Gurgaon. And uh, Gurgaon is the name of a place. She worked in a company in Gurgaon. Payal was selected for Navy in 2012. So, during the year 2012, she was selected for the Navy. And she is um, Vijaya Devi. She belongs to Manipur. Okay, so he, she comes from Manipur. She did her, she completed her PG from Delhi University. 
had not seen the sea before coming into the navy so navy ku varadhukku munnadi avanga sea ya paathadhe kedaiyadhu and also she had a lot of fear for water okay thanninaale bayangara bayam avangalukku okay so uh, learned swimming in navy so after joining the navy only she had learned swimming so this is about vijaya devi so this is about the crew members uh, who had circumnavigated the sea in the insv so in the indian sail boat insv tarni so among the six uh, crew members commander vartika joshi uh, vartika joshi was the commander so what is mean by skipper is it means um uh, to act as a master or captain of a vessel okay so she is the master or the captain of this vessel vessel means here the sail boat ship sail boat adala vessel nu sollu here it means the sail boat insv tarani okay now let us go to the next so in this picture you can see all the six crew members vartika joshi payal gupta prateep jambal swati aishwarya and uh, vijaya devi okay so they are ready for in their sail boat insp tarani okay this picture also shows the same okay they are in their sail boat ins vitarni the crew started their voyage on 10 september 2017 from goa flagged off by the defense minister of india so the defense minister of india in 2017 is nirmala sitaraman right so they started their journey voyage okay so they started their voyage on 10th september 2017 from goa flagged off by the okay so it was started by the flagged off na ina kodi asich start panni vappanga illaya that is flagged off by the defense minister the then defense minister is nirmala sitaraman it was a historic day okay so definitely it will be a historic day in the indian history right because uh, it is the first time the women crew members are circumnavigating the world so it was a historic day which would be marked in navigation history and globally okay so it was a historic day which is which it should be it is uh, so it is marked in the history of navigation worldwide globally it covered the expedition in five legs with a stop over at four ports and that is fremantle in australia a littleton in new zealand port stanley in falklands and cape town in south africa okay so what is mean by expedition is a journey expedition means simply it is a a journey or a voyage which is made for some specific purpose so what is the purpose here is they wants to uh, show the women empowerment and also they are collecting and and also the sail boat is running with wind energy and also they are collecting and updating the uh, weather data for the indian meteorological department right so it covered the expedition in five legs with the stop overs at four ports okay so the purpose why they will be stopping at the port is uh, so they will be uh, stopping to buy some necessary things uh, for if there if the ship or boat is under any repair they will be setting it right okay so it had five four uh, five legs five legs means they will be stopping at the successive uh, points between the two points okay with the stop overs at four ports that is at fremantle in australia littleton in new zealand port stanley in falklands and cape town in south africa for replenishment so what is the purpose for stopping is for replenishment replenishment means uh, it is an act of filling something 
பை ரீப்ளேசிங் வாட் ஹேஸ் பீன் யூஸ்டு தீந்து போனதை ரீஃபில் பண்ணுறது தட் இஸ் ரெப்ளனிஷ்மெண்ட் ஸோ ரெப்ளனிஷ்மெண்ட் மைட் பி ரேஷன் தட் இஸ் சம் ஃபார் த ஃபுட் ஐட்டம்ஸ் ஆர் அ ரீப்பேர் இஃப் தேர் இஸ் எனி ரிப்பேர் இன் த செயல் போர்ட் தேல் பி செட்டிங் இட் ரைட் தட் இஸ் த பர்பஸ் ஃபார் த ஸ்டாப் ஓவர்ஸ் ஓகே இஃப் தே வான்ஸ் எனி ஃபுட் ஐட்டம்ஸ் இஃப் தே வான்ஸ் எனி ரேஷன் Uh, they'll be uh, come if they want any commodities they'll be buying in the ports okay and also if the ship is under any repair they'll be setting it all right that is the purpose for stopping okay and uh, before returning to goa in april 2018 okay so they are pl- they have planned to return to goa on april 2018 so during that journey during that uh, voyage not journey during that voyage they'll be stopping at the four ports right they went around the globe within 254 days and reached goa port on 21st may 2018 okay so they went round the world in how many days within 254 days and um, uh, they returned to goa port on 21st may 2018 the six women the six member women crew broke many stereotypes during their record setting sail so it is definitely a record setting sail so stereotypes means uh, uh, that is a belief among the about the people uh, belief about some particular people so women abdina they cannot go around the world abdingra belief they have broken it okay so that's why it is a record setting sail so the six member women crew broke many stereotypes so they have broken the belief that women cannot uh, uh, circumnavigate the world abdingra belief they have broken it during their record setting sail right so now let us see the do you know part the first indian solo circumnavigation was undertaken by captain dilip donde from august uh, 19 2009 to may 19 2010 on on board another indian built vessel insv mahde okay so the first indian solo circumnavigation solo means single okay solo circumnavigation was undertaken by whom by dilip donde from august 19 2009 to may 19 2010 so it is a solo circumnavigation solo means single so without any assistance without anybody's help he had performed the solo circumnavigation okay in the indian built vessel so insv mahade is also a uh, sail boat which is built, made in india see in this picture you can see vartika joshi uh, so she is the commander vartika joshi see in this picture you can see he is uh, mr dilip donde who had performed the solo circumnavigation from august 19 2009 to may 19 2010 in the next one is the first indian non stop solo circumnavigation okay so non stop without any stop non stop solo circumnavigation was undertaken by uh, commander abilesh tommy kc from november 1st 2012 to march 31 2013 so dilip donde is the person um, who had done solo circumnavigation but here uh, abilesh tommy he had done non stop solo circumnavigation from november 1st 2012 to march 31 
see in this picture you can see he is abilash tommy and uh, this is the boat which he had sailed okay so he had performed the non stop solo circumnavigation okay now let us see an interview with the crew members so india's uh, so this in this lesson an interviewer is interviewing with all the six women crew members india's all women navy crew who went around the world in 254 days have shared their experiences about their great voyage in an interview through their personal experiences we really come to know their hardships and unpredictable challenges they have faced all through their expeditions right so india's all women navy crew went around the world in 254 days have shared their experiences about their great voyage in an interview so through their personal experiences we can realize their hardships hardships means their difficulties and uh, that and unpredictable challenges unpredictable means the 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 challenge challenge nal in something which is not expected okay so unpredictable means so they are in a voyage so suddenly storm may come huge waves may come a blue whale may come a shark may come okay so all those are unpredictable things in the uh, voyage right so they had faced many unpredictable challenges and many difficulties in their voyages and they are sharing about it in this interview so interviewer so interviewer is asking how well were you acquainted with the sail boat before you took up the task task means work what work here circumnavigation so he is asking a question to vartika joshi how well were you acquainted acquainted means familiar with okay so how much you are familiar with the sail boat okay so how much you are uh, familiar with the sail boat uh, before you have taken up this task this work of circumnavigation so what is the reply of vartika joshi is none of us was acquainted with a sail boat or ocean going boat none of us had sailed before nor are women officers allowed entry in combat platforms as it okay so none of us was acquainted with a was acquainted with a sail boat or ocean going boat so no one of us all the six crew members they were not familiar with the sail boat or the ocean going boat till then none of us had sailed before so we have not sailed also we have not sailed in the sea nor are women officers allowed entry in the combat platforms okay so women officers were not allowed to enter in the so women officers um uh, so no none of the women officers will be allowed to enter into the uh, combat platforms that is they will not be allowed to enter in enter into the uh, sail boat or the ship ipo madri appella they will not be allowed that is as it okay so right like now at first it was difficult to take the boat out to sea from one point to another but we slowly built upon it through three years of training okay so at first that is in the beginning they found it difficult to take the boat out to sea so it was difficult for them to take the boat to sea from one point to another that is from one place to another place but we slowly built upon it through three years of training okay so before uh, 
they are circumnavigating the world they have undertaken 3 years of training so they have practiced it in the 3 years of training right so this is the next question can you tell us about the training you had undergone before this expedition okay so the interviewer is asking can you explain about the training you have what type of training you have undergone before you are joining this expedition see there is a picture here so these are the six women crew members and the person in the middle is the see there are um, um there these are the six women crew members and the person in the middle is the interviewer okay see there is a map given here this is the navika sagar parikrama project see there is a route marked here this route is their circumnavigation route okay okay so what is the question here what type of uh, practice that is what type of training they have undergone before circumnavigating the world okay so what is the reply of the commander vartika joshi is we started with some theoretical courses on navigation so in the beginning they start they have started the training with some theoretical courses that is some theory courses on so so okay listen so they have started with some theory courses on navigation communication and weather prediction okay so prediction means predicting in before so what the weather department will say Uh, so tomorrow in the next twenty four hours it might be raining. So there might be heavy rain, or the sky might be looking cloudy, or the sun will be very hot. Okay, so this is prediction. Munadiye predict pani solrude. The naala ki nadakka porude like astrologist. Munadiye predict pani solrude. That is called as prediction. So in the beginning they started with some theory courses on navigation. communication and weather prediction classroom courses are different from sailing outside okay so classroom uh, courses were different from okay there is some technical problem okay so classroom courses are different from sailing outside so uh, suppose if you are uh, having um, if you are studying for fashion designing so what will happen for example i am telling for an example so you'll have less theory course and there will be more practical uh, practical training okay so fashion designing nale everything it is practical so theory part may be less will be less and there will be uh, much practice much training in the practical side so likewise so in theory they have studied about navigation communication weather prediction but classroom courses are different from sailing outside that is in the sea so we were given hands on training like how to repair things and how to deal with the emergencies so what is their training was how to um repair things so uh, when they are in uh, when they are in the voyage that is when they are in their uh, sailing okay if some repair something uh, happen something is repaired so how they have to set it right and how to deal with the emergency situation when the weather gets rough okay so as they are sailing there might be uh, suddenly they may uh, receive huge waves tides okay so there might be heavy wind storm okay so how to handle the rough weather condition if there is a medical emergency so if there is any medical emergency if there is if they are suffering from illness 
so how to treat them medically in the times of emergency and training was needed in tactical aspects as well okay so here i have to say what is mean by tactical so if you find the meaning for tactical you may see this word strategy s t r a t e g y okay let me explain you what is mean by tactical see here i'll tell let me explain you what is the difference between strategy and tactics okay so strategy is over aching plan or set of goals changing strategies is like trying to turn around an aircraft carrier it can be done but not quickly tactics or the specific actions or steps you undertake to accomplish your strategy right see strategy is set of goals okay so it is your set of aims set of goals changing strategies is nammoda strategy ah maathikiradhu nammoda goals nammoda set of goals ah maathikiradhu epdina is like trying to turn around an aircraft career nama nammoda profession vandu nammoda career vandu aircraft side poradha appdin irukiradha nama change panikiradhu da what is that strategy it can be done so adha pannikalam but it is not possible to do it quickly because our mind has to adapt tactics are the specific actions or steps you undertake to accomplish your strategy so what is tactics is accomplish means uh, your skill or achieving achievement achieving okay so tactics enna abina it is the specific action or steps that you undertake that you carry out to achieve your strategy so and the strategy achieve pannano apdingaradhukaga edukra a try okay nama edukra and the try and the steps is called as tactics understand so this is the strategy could be changed it might be hard to change but it might be changed tactics enna abdina nammoda strategy achieve pandrathukaga nama edukra and the and the try pannu only and the try that steps are called as tactics okay this is the difference between tact both are synonyms okay tactics and strategy are synonymous ungalku synonym la kudutaanga na tactic word kudutha question kudutha option la strategy nu kudutaanga na you can choose strategy but there is a small difference between tactics and strategy okay that's why i have i am explaining you this right okay listen so uh, so what type of training they have undergone is they have undergone some theory courses and also they have some, uh, undergone some practical training like how to repair things how to deal with emergencies uh, during uh, suppose if the weather gets rough how they have to deal with the situation and uh, how to treat them in a medical emergency and uh, training was needed in tactical aspects as well that is how to deal a situation tactically okay 
now aishwarya is telling something regarding their training that is we underwent our basic sail training courses in mumbai at the indian naval watermanship training center inwtc and at various schools and at various schools in the southern naval base in kochi okay so they have undergone basic sail training courses in mumbai at the inwtc you have to read all this expansion also it will come in one marks so indian naval watermanship training center and at various schools in the southern naval base in kochi so what is mean by naval base is it is the places a place where um naval ships or a uh, warships okay naval ship or warship they will come and dock there okay so they are docked uh, if they have no work in the sea vessel and the naval ship or warship ke in the value illena they will come and settle here okay that is called as naval base or for any repair also repair uh, repair work okay so they will come and set here uh, dock the, in the places that is called as naval base so and also they have undergone training at various schools in the southern naval base in kochi we even sailed on insv mahade to mauritius in 2016 and 2017 okay so they have also sailed in insv mahade to mauritius and back and also to cape town in december 2016 so these are all their training to sail in the sea okay we were trained for almost 3 years to prepare for the voyage okay they have undergone training for nearly 3 years to prepare for their circumnavigation since the boat was old it had minor leaks and repairs so since the mahade was uh, old it had some leaks and repairs minor means very small leaks and repairs also we ran out of water and food soon and also during their training what happened they had no water to drink they had ran out of water and food so the trip was a tutorial for us on how to manage food water and even electricity during the big voyage so that is that is an experience for them in the on the minor leaks and repairs and also they had no food and water they ran out of food and water that is um, there is no food and water okay all this were experiences for them to deal with the emergency situation okay so the trip was a tutorial for us in the trip circumnavigation illa so in the training courses la the avanga uh, pona trips okay so the trip was a tutorial for us on how to manage food water and even electricity during the big voyage okay so the trip was an experience for them it is a tutorial it is a tuition for them on how to manage with the food water and even electricity during a big voyage like circumnavigation okay okay so let us complete with this let me continue in the next class hope everyone of you have understood thank you for watching thank you